Good morning, students. Welcome to mathematics class. Dear students, today this video I am going to teach you the new lesson that is decimals. Okay, in decimals, so you have to open the page number one hundred and nine in your textbook. Okay, so children, open the page number one hundred and nine. Okay, here understanding decimals and decimal place value chart is there. Okay, see this is the decimals. Okay, in decimals, uh, right hand side and left hand side. In the left hand side, what is there here? Ones. Ones means one. Tens, T E N S. Tens means ten. Hundreds means hundred. Thousand means thousand. Okay, and here after the decimal point, tens. The first digit is called as tens, and it can be written as one by ten. And second digit is called as hundreds. It can be written as one by hundred. And third digit is known as thousands. T H O U S A N D T H S and it can be written as one by thousand. Okay, and next digit is called as ten thousand and it can be written as one divided by one zero 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 zero. So you have to remember this table. Okay, decimal point. After the decimal point, the digits are called as tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand. Okay, and before the decimal point, the digits are called as ones, tens, hundred, thousands. Okay. Next one, children. Okay, you have to write these things in your class work. Next, one tenth. Okay, in one tenth, as I told you, one tenth can be written as. We also write this one tenth as zero point one. Okay, and zero point one can be written as one by ten. That is one tenth. Okay. Now, second one, children. One hundred. One tenth means one by ten. One hundred means one by hundred. Okay, keep in your mind. One tenth means one by ten. One hundred means one by hundred, and one by hundred can be written as zero point zero one. Okay, therefore you have to keep these things in your mind. Similarly, one ten means one by ten. One hundred means one by hundred. One thousand means one by thousand. Okay, are you understood, children? One thousand means one by thousand, and one by thousand can be written as zero point zero zero one. Okay, so these things you have to keep in your mind. Now here are some fractions are there. Zero point one means one tenth. Zero point zero one means one hundred. Zero point zero zero one means one thousand. So you have to keep all these things in your mind, children. Okay. Next, come to the exercise eight a. In exercise eight a is a very simple exercise. We studied in the previous classes this one. Okay, so children, now what is there here? Write the shaded and unshaded parts of the following figures in the fractions and decimal fractions. Now, first one is shaded part three by ten is zero point three. Okay, see total these parts. See this figure. How many parts are there counted? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have to write here ten. Total ten parts are there. Out of ten parts, how many parts are shaded? You can see here one, two, three. So three by ten. Three by ten can be written as zero point three. Unshaded part, children. How many unshaded parts are there? Tell me. Total parts are ten. Out of ten, out of ten, how many parts are unshaded? Count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by ten. Now seven by ten can be written as zero point seven. Okay. See this one. Shaded part, children. See totally here. Now you can check here. Totally, how many boxes are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, total ten boxes. Out of ten boxes, how many boxes are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by ten. So six by ten can be written as zero point six. Unshaded part. Total boxes are ten. Out of ten boxes, four boxes are not shaded. So four by ten, it can be written as zero point four. Okay, so simple, right? Yes. Now write the shaded portion as fractions and decimal fractions. Okay, see children, total how many boxes are there? You have to count. Count it: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred. Total here, hundred boxes are there. Out of hundred boxes, how many boxes are shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven by ten. Seven by hundred. And seven by hundred, it can be written as zero point zero seven. Similarly, here how many boxes are there? Hundred boxes are there. Second question. 
Out of 100 boxes, how many boxes are shaded? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. 12 boxes are shaded. So the answer is here 0 0.12. Like this you have to do. Okay, shade the portions of the diagram for the given decimals. Okay, now you have to try this yourself. Okay children, so next class I am going to teach you the second main. So you have to practice it. Okay children, thank you.